Well, it is my great pleasure to be here in Hyderabad and meet Swamiji personally. And I'm so delighted with all his wisdom and how he deals with different people. And he's not only a uh, God blesses to humanity, but he is a gift of God. And I pray for the continuing work of the Sri Ramanuja Mission Trust Fund. I pray for the great success of the Indian economy. And I pray for the success of the Global Peace Meeting, that it will be continued in India and in other parts of the world through uh, uh, Professor Chatur Vili leadership and the Gusipis Prize International in Manila will cooperate for the success of peace, not only for the subcontinent of India, Asia, and the whole world. I convey my sympathy and my love for the Sri Ramanuja Mission Trust Fund and its people behind the success of it and the people of India and for the entire humanity. My very best wishes for the success of the Sri Ramanuja Mission Trust Fund not only today but in the more years to come. Thank you very much. Our pleasure to have been invited to come over and attend the Grand Global Peace Meet here in Hyderabad. We have this wonderful feeling and this high level of spirituality and bonding, being able to meet Professor Chaturvedi, who, who founded and who heads this Sri Ramanuja Mission Trust. We hope that we can be partners in reaching out to more people in this divine um, mission to spread to the whole world that there should be peace and harmony so we can attain our high level of spirituality and contribute more for the betterment of the lives of the people. So we hope to work hand in hand and uh, we could be partners with the Sri Manu Mission Trust in um, reaching out to more people, especially to those who are needy. Our best wishes and uh, um, best wishes. God and God bless us all. Thank you. I thought that Swamiji's lectures yesterday were very illuminating and uh, insightful. And I think it's important that uh, he, he emphasizes, as does the World Constitution and Parliament Association, uh, positivity. The, the, the need to, in the face of all the problems that we, we encounter in the world today, the need to keep a positive vision. And we have within us, both ethically, as he pointed out, and spiritually, in terms of the religious uh, dimension behind ethics, we have within us this capacity for a positive vision positive understanding of how the world can be different and better. And what was specifically, uh, I thought, impressive about Swamiji's lecture was that he analyzed the uh, way from here there, analyzed the way from here to there. In other words, without losing the positive vision of an integral and harmonious and peaceful world system, uh, he talked about the difficulties and, the, and the, the specificity of the what we should be doing here and now. He talked about faith, he talked about the force of, uh, of our, our will and our, our energy in actualizing the vision of faith, and he talked about function, the kind of functions that we should uh, uh, our, uh, have and create and establish uh, it functions with the, with the intention of transitioning the world from its present broken and fragmented and uh, in desperate condition to one of peace and harmony. So I was very pleased with that and I think the same thing comes through in the Peace Book. Uh, um, uh, I was happy with the lectures because they uh, have a continuity and uh, uh, 
coherence that uh, the Peace Book uh, is, is designed differently. It has uh, a variety of insights that come together within that book, but both of them have the same general vision, the same positivity, and the same uh, realization that the spirit, the spiritual dimension, the ethical dimension, uh, can illuminate human life and uh, move us forward uh, yeah, um, in a vision that uh, we in the World Constitutional Parliament Association uh, uh, embody in the Constitution for the Federation of Earth, a democratic world order where everybody is living together in peace and harmony, in relative eco economic equality, uh, in sustainability, with environmental protection, with clean water, education, and uh, a decent world for everybody. I came to India for meeting uh, in a very interesting event, Global Grand Peace Meet, which is devoted to the peaceful coexistence uh, in all over the world. Uh, to this uh, meeting came many uh, scholars, thinkers, professors, of philosophy from many countries. I came from Russia. Uh, I represent here as a president World Philosophical Forum, which is involved in constructing, in constituting the global citizenship, which is number one now in the targets of UNESCO, United Nations Organization for Education, Culture and Science. I uh, was very much impressed by the very interesting discussions which took place in uh, Bangalore and Hyderabad. Uh, a lot of students and uh, very respective people uh, were taking part in these discussions and uh, very good speeches were offered for presentation. Uh, we came here on uh, invitation of Sri Ramanula Trust uh, Foundation, which is a very serious, very important organization, which make peace on earth more protected, more survive. And uh, I hope that this activity will be only increased will be only prolonged and more and more people will be involved to protect peace, to become global citizens, citizens of the earth. This only the way which UNESCO and United Nations suggest to protect and solve all problems on our planet. I recommend all of you in order to make this activity more effective to join it and uh, to become Earth citizens as soon as possible. You can use facilities of Sri Ramanuel uh, Foundation and also of World Philosophical Forum. Thank you very much. Is it okay? Well, my name is uh, Richard Cluxton and I'm coordinating sustainable development programs for the Forum 21 Institute as well as co-director of University Leaders for a Sustainable Future. I had the distinct pleasure yesterday of attending uh, Swamiji's speech, both speeches he gave, one at the middle and one at the end of the conference. And I was very, very uh, moved and impressed by the by his spiritual insights into how we actually are going to make the transition to a, a just, sustainable, and peaceful future. And particularly, I found useful his, his articulation of, of what, a, what, a, what the role of a spiritual leader should be, and, and emphasizing not so much the dogma, but the, the, the actual embodiment in, in one's way of life 
of being an example for how we should live. And that his, his understanding of how you actually move things practically into um, life, into the normal everyday secular life of people coming from a deep spiritual place was very uh, helpful for me. Now, particularly as I work a lot on shaping sustainable development policy at the UN and trying to actually have an impact to bring spirituality into our political system and into um, policy making, for example, with finding an alternative to economic growth and GDP. Um, his insight into the need to make messages simple uh, but also to have behind that a very complex understanding of, um, of the spiritual and the dogmatic and theological underpinnings. So I'm very grateful to be here and to be a part of the SRMT and I look forward to future collaboration. Thank you. I'm uh, glad to be in this conference and also to listen to Swamiji's uh, lecture. He has a profound understanding of the inner nature of human being and the universe, of uh, the negative energies and how to transform it into a positive energy of love, of caring, for nature and for human beings. Let us not, not suffer is uh, the motto which came through uh, in this lecture. And I think this uh, basic of ethics of how to orient our life and our society, not only individually but collectively as community, towards fairness, justice, compassion, caring, came through in this lecture. Uh, he has a very dense way of expressing that, of course too fast maybe, but it is a, a profound uh, conviction and I hope that we can cooperate, we as Globethics.net, the Global Network on Ethics, on this uh, basis of spiritual values which are uniting us as humanity and where we need the cooperation, me as a Christian ethicist, with uh, Hindu ethicists, with spiritual people around the world from all ways of life, from all kind of religious convictions because in the depth of our inner energy, and this was expressed by Swamiji uh, very precisely, we need to overcome greed, we need to come to this transformative force uh, which uh, can change uh, society so the lecture on changing architecture was not only addressed to individuals but also then society. We need charity work, we need uh, philanthropy, but we need also political reform, we need economic reform, and I think this holistic view was visible in this uh, lecture. I am really thankful for this message and I hope that we can uh, cooperate across uh, cultures and across religions on this very same topic. Okay, well I'm Cyril Ritchie from the Conference of United Nations NGOs and today I have had a very, very uh, pleasant and useful interaction with uh, Swami uh, on behalf of the Mission Trust uh, who's an inspiring person and we have talked about the ways in which we can cooperate together uh, in the future, working towards world peace, but of course working step by step. We all know that world peace is our goal, but it can only be achieved by real concrete action in so many different areas. And uh, Swami has suggested that uh, the Mission Trust might be able to help the Conference of UN NGOs with the organization of uh, some meetings during 2015 and I'm going to be working on that uh, to put forward some proposals that will bring together uh, people who are working in all sorts of uh, charitable, educational, philanthropic, humanitarian and other areas 
uh, all linked with the achievement of the goals of the United Nations, which are, of course, wonderful uh, targets for the world. And he has very kindly also suggested that he might uh, invite me to come back and speak to one or two meetings in India, and that he will mobilize support from the different uh, uh, governors of different states and from the central government for future cooperation between the Mission Trust and the Conference of UN NGOs and the wider non-governmental world. So this is a very inspiring moment and uh, a, a very a learning moment. Uh, one of the interesting things uh, in, our, in the talk with uh, Swami was that we were both able to listen very carefully to each other and to hear uh, just what the other had in his, uh, in his mind. Swami, of course, is a wonderful uh, speaker and constructor of ideas. So I learned a lot from that uh, conversation with him. And so the meeting that I've been at uh, here the last couple of days under the auspices of the Mission Trust is a beginning for new work and uh, step by step towards helping build a better atmosphere for social justice and world peace. Well, I'm really glad to be here. I, I, I really enjoyed this invitation. Uh, I thought, I think the, the speech of Shabbat yesterday was really interesting. This meeting is uh, quite enrichment for, for all of us because it gives um, a multidisciplinary, multi-religious, multi-regional uh, side of view about peacemaking and that's one of the main purpose and main interests of all we do have some action for world peace and we have to we want to give some proposal to our societies in our own perspectives and that's why it's, it's interesting to have, to know and what happens in other regions and the other perspectives so I congrats you and I, I want to to be in touch so as to get to work in, in this matter. Well, it's uh, tough questions for me because um, yesterday the speech was one meeting. For me, it was like. Uh, a, f a very fast speech for me to follow. He speaks very fast, he has lots of information to tell and what I could follow. Uh, I think he's very clear-minded and um, well, well thought of and very constructive what he, what he is saying all the time. Um, but it's just too fast for me to follow. So I um, can say that. So the goals I think are, are more or less clear but uh, it's very hard for me to tell uh, what exactly was spoken and to repeat it again. Mm -hmm. So now I'm really thinking like, okay, he spoke about certain subjects, but what was it again? You know, and uh, in general, the, the, whole, the whole mission, of course, for me, for me, it's very clear. I support that uh, totally, of course. You know, grand global peace is something we should uh, strive for, all, all of us. And uh, just try, I try to, to give my uh, little contribution to that. And uh, the day yesterday, um, well, I was a bit late, of course, because I had to get my, my luggage at the airport, so I was something one hour too late, one hour too late, yes. and I just came in uh, half in the middle. But anyway, um, I found it, uh, for me, how is, what's the English word for that? Um, what's the English word for... That's difficult. I forgot the word. Um, um, it's 
inspirational. That's the word. That's the word I was looking for. Um, so the most, most, most what I what I heard, which 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 I really like like the most, is like people have. I think every speaker has the same kind of mindset. Uh, we know what what the, what the aim is. We know what the goal is. And they also know. Uh, also think we know how to achieve it. The only problem is, of course, how to implement it and how to um, find partners who support the implementation and not obstruct the processes which are uh, planned. And that's, I think, the, the most hard struggle for uh, global peace is that you have to oppose forces which are not interested in peace, they are interested in conflict. And, uh, but of course, the people who were there yesterday, they all want a very simple solution. They want global, just want global peace. And they exactly know how to do it. For me, for example, it would be a very simple uh, problem to, um, to answer and also to solve. But one man cannot solve problems. You know, that's, that's also a mindset thing. And it's, uh, I think people should, should uh, strive for uh, globally as a communion and not as one person. Because if one person does it, it's like a dictatorship. And then you don't have peace. You know? it's, uh, yeah. Very soon. Um, <clears throat> but about um, his speeches, um, what I understood as well from from some of the brochures I got was that it, um, if he speaks globally or, or generally, he is giving a lot of information and he goes very fast. But if he talks on a very specific subject, he slows down and then he goes more deep into the subject. So. Me personally, I would prefer that, just take a little part of, of the whole issue and go in detail about that. And um, I think all the people who here, who spoke here, also the, the people from, uh, not from India, they all share the same goals. And the thing is just to get all people on one level and one mindset and uh, to go the way to global peace. Well, I don't know what more can I say. <laughs> I'm a bit surprised. I'm not a good speaker when I have to speak uh, unprepared. You know? So uh, and then I have to think, and then when I'm thinking, I'm, my talk is slower than my thinking. So that's uh, a bit of a problem. Anyway. I'm very happy to be here. Uh, um, such very interesting meeting which um, this, where we're discussing uh, very, very important uh, questions and very important problem about humanity, about our life in the global world and what we must, uh, can, must do uh, today for, improve, uh, uh, for improving uh, uh, the situation in the global world. And Professor Swami uh, told a lot of interesting things about uh, our way, uh, um, about understanding, and I um, agree that we must combine our possibilities and our um, uh, thoughts for doing uh, this world better than it's now. It's okay? I hope the ideas which uh, Swami talked about uh, it's very useful for combining our thoughts and uh, we can uh, do many um, many uh, what uh, to, um, to improve the situation for example we can um, publication uh, our um, ideas uh, and uh, ideas of Swami in different journals, in articles, uh, and of course, uh, conferences when uh, will be um, uh, ne next year. Uh, building, uh, we, be, uh, we we are creating uh, many possibilities. Not only conferences, also in journals, and uh, we can 
established uh, some different uh, in different countries uh, division of uh, this movement and I think that uh, in future uh, we will um, can uh, meet uh, more uh, in more powerful uh, for, for more powerful conversation and to speak uh, in different countries uh, at first time with uh, young generation with young people uh, and also with professional and involved in this moment of global uh, society and global uh, thinking people more and more uh, participants uh, I think that uh, books which I received from Professor Swami will be interesting for not reading and also for um, understanding uh, better uh, not only our thinking and also our doing uh, what must we do at first time and second time and so on um, not only for short and also for long distance and I hope in this way we will create new world where we will be all citizens of one world where we can um, create uh, a new situation on a new constitution and we will combine our um, possibilities uh, from different countries. Uh, I think it will be um, in nearest future, it will be uh, some uh, very good steps for this direction.